Hi and welcome to Cash and Coins. Today I will discuss buying gold and silver when spot prices are high when they spike. Should you even buy? It does depend on several things. But there is a method to the way that I do it. I call it the method to my madness. I offer options and ideas and what you should avoid also. All right, well, let's get into it. Hello, and thank you for joining me here at Cashing Coins. I hope you are doing well. Today, I will discuss buying silver and gold during a spike like we're having right now. A spike, I mean, in spot prices. Well, what should you do? Or what should I do? Is what I should have said. I try to buy the least expensive bullion gold and silver coins. But if the spike is too high, I do focus on collectible coins. Now, let's talk about the spot prices first. What you need to consider. The main thing to remember is that when precious metals spike in spot price, it is usually temporary. So, if you see a big spike, don't buy. It's not a good time to buy. Take a pause in your purchasing. Just wait a little bit and you'll see it'll come back down. Now, how much will it come down? We never know. We don't have that crystal ball. It's what I call the nature of the beast. Don't worry about it. As you can see in these charts, they go up, especially on the spikes, come right back down, or at least close to where they were. Now, if you are at the point in your life where you are ready to sell, well then sing hallelujah and start that selling spree. Sell at the highs. I'm not retired, yet when I do, I'm definitely looking for spikes in the gold and silver market. I know some people say they will never sell, and that's cool. You bought it, do with it however you please. Heck, you can even do like the Egyptian pharaohs did and bury it with you. But good luck with that, as you know all the gold was stolen from their tombs by tomb raiders grave robbers and all the such. But again, the decision is totally yours. As you know, I am a stacker and a collector. Now, I'm about to tell you some things that might upset some of you, but it is a word of caution and this is to help you when you are buying collectible type coins. And even, this may even affect some of your bullion coins too. This part of the video is about things to consider, especially when purchasing collectible modern coins. Silver, and to a lesser extent, gold, have some issues with discoloration, spotting, and toning. So if you watch other videos like Silver Dragons or Austrian Stacker, you will see that they have purchased silver that decreased in value just because of the flaws associated with silver. They both bought some MS-70 coins, that is mint state coins, with the highest rating. Coins that are supposed to be pretty much flawless. But as soon as milk spots turn up, these coins are as valuable as your day-to-day -day bullion coins. In other words, they don't retain that optimum value. These coins go from an MS-70 to a who knows what. They don't even have to be in their MS-70 capsules anymore because they are no longer MS-70s. For the most part, no one will pay you for their MS-70 graded value. This is a common issue with silver. Now, I did say it does happen to gold, but to a lesser extent. A much lesser extent. Gold gets what's known as copper spots. Now, I must say they can be removed, but let the professionals do it. On the other hand, milk spots cannot and will not be removed by professionals. So it's a bigger loss with silver than with gold. And you can think about this as you're building your silver and gold collections. Now, the big takeaway in this video is if there is a big spot price hike, pause your purchases. The market usually goes back down some. 
This is a good time to purchase some collectible coins. Just make sure that you're, you know what you're buying. Don't believe the hype. Research what you want and look for the best deals. And lastly, this might be the best time to sell if you are ready to cash in some of your precious metals. Let's say you're retiring or something. I do hope you enjoyed today's video. I wanted to make it short, sweet, and to the point. Now, if you have any tips or tricks that you want to give on purchasing during a, a spike in, in spot prices, you are more than welcome to put it down in the comments. And I, I would appreciate it and probably the audience will too. And with that said, I would like to thank you for watching Cash and Coins. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as I always, always say, have a wonderful day. And I'll see you on the next video.